This is Dr. Brent Wright explaining fetal growth. Uh, from the time of conception, which is usually uh, shortly after ovulation, uh, the embryo will implant inside the uterus. At that point in time, it develops a yolk sac and a fetal pole. And as that continues to grow, uh, it uh, stays inside the uterus and it develops a placenta or the afterbirth as its nutritional uh, exchange between the mother and the baby. And this continues to grow. The first trimester, which is those first 12 weeks, are very critical time in pregnancy growth. These are the times that most important to avoid any kind of teratogens or anything like this because this is when the embryo is developing its all of its core um, systems. And so uh, any kind of viral illnesses at this time or any kind of exposure to toxins will really have a major impact at this time. Uh, so after that first trimester, there's less likely risk that you'll have any kind of miscarriages and the baby will continue or the fetus will continue to grow from this point uh, through the, the second trimester as it sort of starts growing in its mass. Um, and in the third trimester, it continues to grow uh, until you have your uh, fetus uh, and infant uh, delivery later on. This can be monitored as an obstetrician gynecologist, we measure the fundus and make sure that the appropriate growth for the week's gestation. Uh, we measure the fundal height, we keep an eye on that. If there's any change where that fundal height is too, too low or too big, then your doctor may order an ultrasound and evaluate you to make sure that the baby's growing appropriately or not growing too much, there's not too much fluid. So there's a lot of things that your physician will keep an eye on during that period of time, make sure your baby's growing appropriately. Um, so this is Dr. Brent Wright on discussing uh, the growth of the fetus.